I think Fortnite messed up as they put literal free bundles in the item shop as we check that out and all of the latest news and awesome clips from the world of Fortnite. Like this very unfortunate team here trying to drive out of a storm, escaping an enemy team. But let's be real, there's not much escaping that mythic pulse rifle. And along comes this guy here, S. S. A. Oh my gosh. Foxic. What a service. Made sure to give him a nice tip. Oh, your petrol gas fillers are back. Oh my gosh, I love these people. This was huge back in chapter two. And he even gave him a shield and off he goes. Love it. That's the most toxic thing in Fortnite and the nicest thing in Fortnite back to back. This was hands down the most cinematic victory out in all my years of playing. Oh. Oh. Going in for the old... ODM attack into the fireballs. Holy, that was perfect. Okay, I did not notice, but obviously the new snipers this season now have a glare on them, so you know when they're looking at you. But the lock-on pistol has a glare like this when it's locking on to you. It's like they're trying to burn your eyeballs out, and actually it makes you really hard to hit when you do that. The lock-on pistol has given me nightmares. I've seen a lot of mixed opinions about it. I think generally people say it's not as good as it could be. Oh, wait. This guy shot that person because he thought the light was a lock-on pistol. Now I get it. The final 1v1. This person has a crazy loadout. Oh, but the other person died in the storm. Toxic emo. Oh, my gosh. Friend request. Oh, okay. 1v1. You're so scared of me. I was at 17 kills. What word starting with the F would the chapter 4 end event be? End of chapter 1. Finale. End of chapter 2. Flipped. End of chapter 3. Fracture. End of chapter 4. Forgotten. That's my guess. If it's right, you all have to give me a million V-Bucks. Shout out to the mobility grappling items. Got to be one of my favorite, honestly. I think the introduction of the spider webs changed what we all thought a good mobility item could be in Fortnite. Hit the thumbs up button if you always want a mobility item in Fortnite. I mean, it would make me happy. Sure, it would make you happy. They're just so good. I challenged Aaron Yeager to a 1v1. Go on then, mate. Yeah. Where are they? Oh my! The wall! It's been built! I've only watched a few episodes of Attack on Titan many, many years ago. Uh, I know there's a lot of titans and walls. <laughs> watched a chicken birth and then death. Wait, what? <gasps> Wait, do they hatch if you leave them long enough? Why did I never realize that? I mean, that makes a lot of... Oh no. Oh! Which chapter of Fortnite is your favorite? One, two, three, or four? Oh, they're all so good. I think chapter one has to be the best. Chapter three, my icon skin came out. Chapter two had some of the best skins, mythics, and battle passes. And chapter four has just been so much fun. I, I don't know. Guys, which chapter would you pick? Why is this possible? A literal end zone basically fully in water. Wait, even the current zone's fully in the water. But that's what makes Fortnite and Battle Royale so fun. You don't know where the zone's gonna go. But I love eliminating the skin you hate most. Oh, it's a superhero skin. Damn, that's a lot of hate for the superhero skins, but they are sweaty. The new sniper fast travel feature is really handy for getting around. What? Fast travel sniper? Oh, he rocket rode a sniper bullet. I think I've only seen that a handful of times in the history of five years in Fortnite. It is extremely rare, and this guy's honestly lucky to survive and tell the tale. But will he survive? Yeah, he did. Wow. Okay, we've got someone actually putting the lock-on pistol into action here. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. This thing can absolutely slap if they don't have much shield. Like, all of these guys are very weak. And you are playing, I guess, in... The old, what, 50v50? I think the range is kind of good, isn't it? Dude, even in cars? Okay, shooting people in cars is definitely sick. And out the air? Like, it's fun. I like it. Me after just realizing the cars with locked wheels are finally gone. Yep, took me a while to realize that they weren't in chapter four either, but one of the best changes ever. I feel like I've got to explain, by the way, that I now have retainers in, which is why it sounds like I can't talk properly. And I have a massive lisp. But I'm just staying true to my new retainer plan and even recording videos in it, even if I sound ridiculous. But apparently a downed player gets up and kills them. I've got to see this. Have a look. Oh! Oh! 
Wait, what? Yeah, the person did literally just stand up. How is that possible? Does anyone know? Who else misses the Marvel season, dude? What an incredible season with so much hype. I know people kind of bash on there being like full-on collab-based seasons, but nah, the Marvel one was incredible. You either die a hero, you place the hundreds. <laughs> I don't see that very often, to be fair. Or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. First strike, take someone down. We talk about how this guy made an interdimensional gate and then just disappeared after one season. Yeah, if there's one thing I'm not massively keen on at the moment with Fortnite, it's how the storyline seems to be just really bitty bits of information with characters that don't last very long and then suddenly would on to the next thing with not much explanation. I really hope Fortnite improve how they tell the stories. I'm doing all of the story-based quests here on the channel to make sure that I'm up to date. But I bet a lot of players just don't follow it anymore. I'm really really hoping that we get a big event at some point in the future to explain things a little bit more. The most broken NPC, yeah, if you didn't realize already, this lady right here. All exotics cost 25 bars. I'm talking of this skin, she's actually now in the item shop, available to pick up. For some reason, it looks like she's covered in the chrome from the last season. There's got to be something story related there. But that's not all that's weird with this item shop. If you do pick her up, please spend a second popping code Allie into the item shop. Like these guys, it is the best way to to support me, but the weirdest thing about the item shop isn't the fact that this new skin's covered in chrome. It's the fact that I literally have three bundles available to claim. Let me show you. Now, if I scroll down, I come across two bundles. Not one, but two bundles that literally say three. Not zero V-Bucks, but three. The Coachella bundle has a free icon in it. Is anyone else getting this in their item shop right now? I've never seen anything actually say this before for like a normal item. And I own everything. Oh, maybe it's because I don't have the loading screen. But it's literally giving it to me for free. And then on top of that, the Kid Leroy bundle now also says free as well. And it's also the loading screen that I don't have. What will happen if I actually pick it up and buy it? Well, I guess I just got a free loading screen. Guys, let me know. Are you getting free stuff in the item shop as well? My friend getting his first win. Congratulations. Me knowing that he played against bots, but still celebrating with him. Ah, uh, just don't let them know. Wait, what? 1,679. Now, nah, we've done this calculation before. That can't be right. It's been 42 days since the season came out. 1,679 divided by 42. 40 wins. There's no way. How? 40 wins a day. Fastest bounty hunt I've ever been involved in. This person sitting at 12 kills. The person they're shooting at is about to get a bounty on them, and they take them down in like one second. What a snipe. I like this idea a lot. Fortnite needs like a play a home space where you can display your locker items. Like, imagine I could invite you all in, and you could see, like, my Renegade Raider skin, my Purple Skull Trooper, and, like, have a showcase of everything that's rare. Though, to be fair, with everything that Fortnite is bringing out at the moment, they're trying to make OG and rare skins probably as dead as possible. Because so many of the old stuff has been brought back to the item shop, but I like this idea a lot. I also think this doesn't get talked about enough. Thoughts on the rare chest new look. It looks so cool. I love the glow, the effect. Big W for me, Fortnite. Seems this new character is a little bit scammy. They bought a high-speed assault rifle and then a rift. But the rift just did nothing but stuck him in an awkward high-five position. He can't even open any chest. He got fully scammed. Wait, 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 wait. I know this skin got a lot of attention when it came out, but I never noticed that it has literal miniature hands as hands. I just thought it had hoofs. Favorite grenade kill. Go on. I love a good grenade kill. Nice, nice, nice. Wait for it. Oh, that was so well timed. Emo. Damn, toxic. Got team wipe by an insane player. Oh, no. Ooh. Does everyone always emo after killing everyone? Apparently they do. Oh, oh, what? Oh, 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 see you later. Yeah, don't you hate it when you go to open one of the new Attack on Titan chests and you get the Thunder Spears. The things are really hard to aim and not that strong. Probably one of the worst mythics we've never had. No offense, Attack on Titan. The ODM gear is incredible. But guys, if you want to understand this season's story better and why we could be leading up to a huge live event, click on screen here for all the latest information. It will really help you understand what's going on this season. So I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching.